think he played Falcon all in Pat as well. It, it, for those of you that don't know at home, Nico is a very, very uh, vocal character about the character Captain Falcon. Hates him with a passion. Very, very much so. So I guess he's trying to show everyone that, yes, Falcon is dumb. I think the character's good. I also don't... I think you just go Rob here. I think Falcon's like an easy character to kind of just... for Rob to exploit off stage, and combo food, that kind of thing, but... Pureflax looking for the pit instead. Okay, just holding shield. Not gonna jump away or anything. Okay, and what did he go for here? Down throw neutral air. Goes for a re-grab, put him off stage. Oh, looking for the up air knee. Yep. Really not connected. Right, let's see how he keeps up that. Uh, Less trap, not going to find anything. Pureflax opts for the combo instead of reversing the stage control. Ooh. But he carries him across the stage actually, so that doesn't even matter actually. This is scary. Oh, okay. And it's just a dodge down air. And, yeah, these guys are just about even. Pure Flax put on some serious damage that last combo. And Nico kind of looking to speak back. Yeah, that was a great corner carry. But we'll have to see. Oh, there one into Nico. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is so scary. What do you do against the Falcon? It's just sitting there. Full hop, there one. Full hop, there one. Yep, you just gotta be careful, man. I mean, it's the same thing we dealt in in Smash 4, too. You know, falling yeah, up air to knee. It's exactly. the same exact idea, except yeah. there one's a bit harder to hit because the uh, hitbox doesn't quite connect as well as you want. Ooh, quick down smash. That's a good reaction. Trying to find a tech chase with that. Knee. Ooh, woo, gets Soft a late hit. hit, though. Man, commentating on a Falcon match is always one of those scenarios where it's like, you don't know what they're going to do next. I literally so, have yeah. <laughs> so you just react and you're like, oh, ah! And that, <laughs> it's, it, playing against Falcon is just like that, too. Yeah, exactly. That, that's the hardest thing about playing against Falcon. Like, I, I rarely like to use this word, but, you know, it's like it's a full unga bunga mode, you know? Yeah, no, he, he just has so many great first options. And, you know, when, when your Falcon is good, they know when to mix them up. And they know exactly how to prey on your weaknesses. Yeah, and exactly. And it, right it just instills the fear in your heart, too. Like, wake what's up, that, what's wake, talking about? <laughs> wake up Falcon King. They carried him across the stage, and he got a back air out of it. You know what? Only Captain Falcon. Yeah. Yeah, and Raptor Boost is actually really good in this game, too. I think it's super underutilized. You know. They fixed it a little bit. It still kind of does uh, some awkward stuff, but it's a, definitely a lot more consistent, a little bit more safer now, too. Yeah, it, it's pretty, pretty safe, and, you know, it, it's super armor. Like, yeah. How are you, <laughs> you going to say that a move with super armor is bad in any context, really? Yeah, I like what Gearflex is trying to do. He's trying to, you know, use the arrows and mix up when he's going aggressive, when he's going defensive. And yeah, just like that, got the ledge control and is able to clip him with a back air. Let's see how he tries to get out of this ledge situation, though, because against Falcon, very scary. He actually had full faith that he wasn't going to reach him with that down air. That was crazy that Gearflex just sat in the ledge and didn't do anything. Either that or he just didn't realize it by the time he reacted. And he's like, oh, damn, I'm glad I didn't get hit by that. <laughs> after he ran, like, backwards, too, a little bit, he still didn't do anything. Yeah. Oh my god, we're rolling. All right, we're DMX. Playing. We got some Smash 4 habits coming back in. You saw the triple roll from both of them, man. Roll through? Okay. Here flex off to end the jab early. Oh. Nico yeah. just needs like one hit. Here flex could die. One dare to knee, one nair one to knee. Yeah. Oh! What was that? He got hit by nair too, I think. Oh, I don't it? think yeah. he fast fall it. It was very, very close. Quite in time, yeah. No! Woo! No! <laughs> okay. Oh, he's dead. There we go. Yeah, it's just, uh, you press a button, and that happens. You get blown up. You jump on them and press A. Yeah. And if they shield it, you jump on them and press A again. And you do it until it works. Then you run forward and press A. Exactly. Nico <laughs> doesn't even look happy about that. He's just, he's just got that smile like, eh, eh this character, man. Yeah. Well, let's see. What does Kiraflex do? Stinking. I, I want to see the Rob. I think the Rob, I think the Rob is the play, but, you know. Like you have, you have, you have the cheese available to you, Kiraflex. Like, you, 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 there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's been cheesed too much in Smash 4. Like, it's his time in Ultimate. It's just this matchup in particular is probably particularly Three, difficult for Rob two, to recover. One, like, if you're in disadvantage as Rob here, this is gonna suck. <laughs> so he's he's really got to rely on his ability to just win neutral, and you know, so far he's not. Yeah, but you also have those very strong zoning tools. So it's a matter of, it's a very double-edged sword. It's like, can can you? stay out, and if you do get in, it's like, okay, I kind of screwed yeah. there. Yeah, Rob is, Rob is a character who really likes to set up. You know, you've got a lot of things that you want to do across the stage from your opponent, and Falcon is a character who doesn't really let you do that. Yeah. And that's a bane of Rob right... Oh, okay, that's a bane of Rob right there. Landing there kind of takes a while to come out. 
usually rising up over Falcon is already going to be out by the time you try to land with Nair, yeah. so your landing options are very limited in this scenario. Oh, the mix-ups. I like the shield pressure from True Flags. Yeah, those this is looking good so far. This looks just like the last game, actually. The tilts from Robs are just a little bit too good sometimes. But there we go, landing with the side B. We got oh. ourselves a game here. Oh, okay. So, 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 what happened was he, he looked like he was going to give him the space to set up. But remember, I was talking about setup characters, right? He gave him the space to set up, and then he's like, nah, I'm coming back. It was exactly what I predicted, man. It was like, okay, I'm going to try to keep you up with this laser. But I got opened up. Oh, shoot. I got hit by a landing near knee. And you know what? Nico's got the lead again. Yep. Oh, good flex. Okay, he gets the air. But can he close out the yeah, stock? He's, he's got, like, he can take advantage pretty easily as Rob. Like, you can get that hit to take, put them in disadvantage, right? It's just about taking that kill. And this is going to be the thing that, I mean, here's the thing. I'm not happy about that. And I don't think Kiraflex is happy about that either. You don't want to be taking the stock at 160% with an up throw. You want to be finding those kills at 60% off stage. Yeah, you gotta take them off stage and you gotta do a side B or something and uh -oh. put them off. Got uh -oh. the trip, got the down throw into the up air. What a mash! Quite. Yeah, that was really fast. Woo! Oh my. How does he get out of this situation? He's almost out of gas. Gonna try and break it back though. Yes, with the directional arrows, but he's gonna get deep. Oh, it's, that was all. That was all Nico's fault that he can get hit yeah. by strong knee. That was, like Kira Flex should have been dead like 10% ago. But again, Kira's he's trying to find these spaces to set himself up, and Nico is just you know crowding him. And oh, I love that man grab. Say you can't just shield in front of me. Yeah, the initial grab box on that uppy is huge, so it's really good as an out shield option, especially if you're consistent with getting B reverses on it as well. Very great tool, especially in high pressure situations. Yeah. Here, Flex close to getting another up tilt up air. If he gets one more, that's going to be it. Oh, that's not going to kill, but again, he's got the advantage, but he needs to turn the advantage into stocks. Let's see what he does. No jump, I don't think, but he retreats to the ledge. Well, how's he going to get that stock here? He doesn't. They got potentially a big combo yeah. starting up here. Great patience from Nico, but that time, rising up with the up air. Going to take the stock, and we've got an even game. Yeah. Took another high percent stock though, it was at 171, so we're gonna have to see it a little bit more. Oh my god! Man, Nico just completely interrupted me. Like, how rude of him, you know? Is that allowed? How dare you do up air into falling knee? Like, that was something. Is that allowed? Or can you, is he allowed to do that? That was, uh, oh, at least Pierre Flex is taking it to heart. 